there's poison, there's junk food, there's empty calories, and there's healthy, solid fare. I'm thinking today again about Luke chapter 12 and verse 42, where Jesus says, Who's the wise and sensible steward the master puts over the household to give them their food in due time? In part, he could be talking to the apostles about their job as leaders. That's the job of the apostles, pastors, to feed God's people. In John chapter 21, Jesus will tell Peter, feed my sheep. But the thing is, there's several different types of food to feed people with, possibly. There's poison, things that are laced with chemicals, which will do someone in. Sort of like telling someone that there's no consequences for sin. Then there's junk food. Junk food is odd floating things about the Bible that don't help one really draw near and develop in the Lord. Then there's empty calories. Empty calories are clever. They may be tricky. They may be a slogan, but they really don't help you to be any near to the Lord or more like Christ than when you came in. Then there's solid food. A little bit of meat, a little bit of potatoes, some vegetables, some fruit, maybe a little bit of carbs, a finely balanced diet. You know what the Bible is? The Bible is a finely balanced diet. There's God's law. There's a story of redemption. There's the stinging words of the prophets, the comforting, joy-filled words of the Psalms. There's the gospel stories of Jesus. There's the hard-hitting letters of Paul. And then there's the book of Revelation. It's a finely balanced diet. And I think that it's saying that it's a pastor's job to give people a finely balanced diet to make sure the flock isn't wandering into poisonous fields or wandering into a place where there's poison in the underground water. A finely balanced diet. That's my job. Your job? Show up at the table. Be ready on Sunday morning. Be ready on Wednesday night. Be ready on Tuesday morning with the daily devotional. Show up at the table. Because Jesus says that the Lord puts stewards to give them their food in due time. Pray for me that I would do my best to do that for you and not leave you to poison food or empty calories or junk food. This is your daily devotional for Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. What a joy-filled day we had Sunday. What a day of great blessing. And I just, I thank God just so much for this church. Look forward to seeing you soon. Pray for me and pray for the church and read your Bible and pray every day. And God bless you as you serve him.